Hi, I'm Mr. McConley, and this is BKW Intro to Agriculture class. And today we're going to talk about a common cattle disease, ringworm. Now, most people think when they hear ringworm, they're thinking, oh, it's, it's a worm that actually gets under the skin or something. But it's not at all like that, actually. It's a, it's a fungi, a fungus. And it's, what happens is this, there's spores, and these spores are deposited on all different things, you know, the, the wood of a building, um, you know, head gates, different, um, different parts of the barn. And then, go ahead, Vance, you want to get to that mineral? And then as, uh, as the animals rub up against it, what happens is those spores are, are, you know, touched onto their skin, and then they will get the ringworm, which is, uh, which is like, a, you know, almost looks like a rash. What'll happen is you'll see that they will, uh, there'll be a, a raised, scaly surface where the ringworm is, and they usually lose the fur. So you'll just, you know, be basically be just the skin. You're not seeing any fur at that point. And it's very, it's contagious between animals, and it's because they're constantly rubbing on one another, and even if they're, if we look out here and they're eating in a round bale feeder, and one sticks their, their head into the round bale, and then another one sticks their head in, they can pass it that way. Um, but it's also, it's contagious to, to humans. So if, if you were to um, rub against the, the ringworm on a cow, it can, it can be contracted by humans also. Um, what else was I going to say here? Okay, in terms of the cure, so vitamins A and D take care of ringworm, but they're pretty hard to, with cattle to, to get that on the cattle. Um, another way that uh, works is you can, you can bleach or kill it, but if a ca calf, for instance, like this one, if you look right here, if you can, yeah, I'll turn on my headlamp for you. Right above his eye there. Hold still there, buddy. Can you see that? Yeah, we'll, we'll walk over here again. Out in the, the way, it gets head. better. See that? See above his eyelid there? Can you zoom in on that? That spot right there, he has some ringworm. It's almost gone, but you can see the, the fur is gone and, um, and it's raised, it's scaly. And it doesn't seem to bother them too much, although it does itch a little bit, and I think they, they try to rub, rub against things. But the best cure, back to what I was saying, the best cure is to actually, um, come on in here so you don't get that wet. The best cure is for them to actually just get in the sunlight. So what'll happen is a herd might have a lot of ringworm, and if you send them out to pasture, and they're in direct sunlight all day long, It'll, it'll be taken care of and it'll just, it'll uh, soon be gone. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is that um, a calf like this one that has it, they, they're more susceptible to it. And once the animal has been exposed to ringworm, they usually are, are less likely to get it the following year. So you'll notice the adult cows usually will not get it, even though the, the calves will be, you know, be suffering from it. Um, and actually, we have an older calf. She's uh, about two years old, and she has it pretty good on her, on her rear and on her tail. So let's go take a look at that. So if you take a look here, I don't want to touch it, obviously, but you can see that she has... A little bit right on her tail and then off to the side here and she's again recovering from it it's almost gone and the reason she has it and she's a little older is the herd hasn't had had it up until this point so she's two years old and this is the first time we've had it on the farm in two years so she hasn't been exposed at all whereas some of the older ones are probably already exposed so they they don't seem to have any ill effects now Another one here, I'll show you this other calf here. This calf had it pretty good on her face. And now if you take a look at her, 
there's really no signs. It's hard to get her to look at you when you want, but come here, hey. Come here. If you look, there's only maybe a slight evidence above her uh, on her eyelids that it was ever there at all. Hey, fans, <laughs> how are you? you Want to be on the, the camera? So basically, I think that's about it. Let me just check my notes. That's about all I wanted to cover for today. But basically, it it is something that is not at all life-threatening or dangerous to the the calves and the cows. It's just more of an annoyance, and it's hard to get rid of once you find it in your farm. So for today, this has been uh, Mr. McConley for BKW Intro to Ag.